or Rose's World. Today I have um, quite a few things to be sharing. In the meantime, I'm going to be pulling the chat up over here on my phone so I can, you know, try my best to keep up with your guys' comments. Hi, The Lucky Minute. How are you? Hi, Jacob Luna. How are you? So, guys, I'm just pulling up the chat. Well, you know what? I might be able to keep up with the chat over here. We'll see. Because I'm still trying to figure out how to work the stream lab. So, that's why I still pull up the chat here on my phone. Because he is. Hi, Juan. How are you? Because I already forgot before I even went live, I forgot to make the comments a little bit bigger for me to see hi jack how are you and, oh i forgot to, got to turn down my volume over here because i do not want to hear myself <laughs> and oh how are we oh wow yeah oh, and i gotta pull the chat up over here because i forgot to fix that over there and let's see there's a few of you i missed hi tommy how are you hi sharon how are you hi john how are you? And hi, Carousel Kim. How are you? Hi, at Painting the Roses Red. How are you? So, boy, all you guys are coming and finding at once in <laughs> the comments. <laughs> and you know what? Hold on, I think I've seen that I am doing good, Jacob. Thank you for asking. And John, too, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Oh, I know, right? I, I've only seen a little bit about the, of that, the Stitches Great Escape. Because I'm more familiar with um, Disneyland in Anaheim. But I have seen a little bit of that Stitches, what is it, Great Escape. Let's see, maybe I'll put my phone down over here. So I think I'll save for last. I have, um, so my for those of you that were in here last time, hey, human person, how are you? You know, my wrist, my left hand wrist was hurting, and that's why we didn't get to build this Lego set. Uh, but I think I'm going to save this to the towards the end to, you know, start building some of this. Let's see, I need prepared where to put this. Sorry guys, I didn't like, I don't know, I have all this stuff like right here in front of me. <laughs> Even debating which of the stuff I'm gonna share with you guys first. Cause it's like, I don't know, I got quite a few things here. Oh yeah, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. That ride, I don't even get to see myself though cause I get motion sickness. It's actually a bummer for me, too, because, you know, there's quite a few rides that I wanted to ride last time I was there, but I had to avoid some because of um, my motion sickness. But it does look awesome. My niece got to go on that ride because she went with me. Yeah, I want to talk about this stuff. Oh, no, we're, or Kim's, hold on, talking to Sharon, though. But, yeah, the lack of emojis. I guess I'll start with these first. Now, I'm not too familiar with these, but it looks like there's some type of um, coloring book. And, you know what, I'll go with these first. My boyfriend found the Villains one and the Coco one on Clarence at Target, and then I recently found a Star Wars one. Oh, you don't like the loops on the roller coasters? You know, I used to be able to go on roller coasters, um, I guess I would say my teenage years, but that has changed since then. Um, the first one, it's a Disney Villains, it's a bright idea book to color, and it comes with four milky crayons, as you can see the milky crayons, and the pages to color, and I actually haven't even took off the clearance tag price this was originally $5.99 and it was on clearance for $1.78 at Target hey kid TV how are you 
So here's, and you know what? Hold on, sorry guys. I'm still also learning how to also like show my face and share this at the same time. <laughs> but I thought this was pretty cool. I think I probably maybe will like open just maybe a few of the pages so we can see it. And let's see, first one I opened too, it looks like it's the same with Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Hey Vanessa, how are you? I'm just sharing, I'll go back real quick. My boyfriend um, found this Disney Villains book at our Target on clearance for $178. It was originally, what did I say, $5.99. And it has like these cool milky crayons that come with it to um, color. Yeah, Peter Pan's awesome character to me, he's fun. And look here we got Hopper. I want to say our second time to Disneyland when I went with my boys. Um, we were near somewhere near Small World. And one of us, I forget who noticed Peter Pan and Captain Hook. So we actually got to meet them together. It was fun meeting both of them together. And then <clears throat> I'll just show when you open the front. Like, I'm still debating, like, I really want to color it, but then I'm like, do I want to just save it instead? I'm still debating on that. <laughs> I haven't decided. And then, this is the one that I came across, but it's a Star Wars one. And this one was also the same price, You know, I never got to see that either, Kim, the um, Bugs Life Theater show. And, you know, when we had gone, I want to say, well, our first and second time to the park, we could have had a chance to, and we didn't. But I have seen a few um, vlogs in the past event. It looks pretty cool and awesome. And let's see, I'm just going to turn... To, I don't know what page I'm like. Because I turned to Ray. And you know what? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to see. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'll go. I don't know. I'm trying to see how to hold it and still, like, not block my face. <laughs> oh, you haven't met Peter Pan yet? Oh, thank you, the lucky minute. Yeah, we found it at our Target on clearance. Oh, and the grasshopper and drumming was cool. And then this one, it's, um, I don't know, it's a little different style than those two coloring books. I just remembered. Yeah, but thank you, Kid Out TV. Uh, thanks to, again, though, you know, Kid Out TV taught me how to figure this out to be on here because of his help. And then this one's a, um, from the movie Coco, it says you create magical, I'm probably going to say this word wrong, mosaic. Hi, Disney Ann, how are you? And it's a mosaic stickers by numbers. This one, um... Originally it was $7.99, but it was on clearance for $3.98. Oh, thank you, Tommy. And this is also another book that I'm de debating, like, if I want to either save it as part of my collection or actually... You know, let's see, let's open to one of the pages. I'm not even sure, because it looks like I have like all the stickers first. Because I haven't really looked at this book yet myself. But it looks like there's like stickers. Yeah, see, thank you, human person. I know, sometimes I feel silly. I know I say some, I pronounce some words wrong. Uh, thank you, Kid Alt TV. 
And then let's see. So it looks like there's a ton of stickers in the front. And then I think in the back. Oh yeah, it looks like, and it tells you, I guess, like which stickers to, to put on. So I guess it's kind of like, I guess I would say to me, it seems like maybe like paint by numbers, but instead it's with stickers. So that's pretty cool. There's another. The only thing is like, I don't know, I'm trying to like, maybe like this with partly covering my face while showing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only ones you have a lot of. And then I guess I think we'll show the last page. Well, I'm also trying. Oh, you only use them when you send stuff. I know I have. Um, a lot of Disney like stickers that I buy when they're on clearance and then I'm like I don't even know what to do with all these stickers and that's what I sometimes have been using them for like when I send stuff out I'll put stickers all um, you know like in the card or in the envelope just to make you know use of them and let's see so you know what since we're kind of trying like I guess coloring books and stuff I guess I'll show the latest thing I got today my boyfriend went to Target and you know, I thought it was one that I have already and it actually isn't. And hold on, let's see how I'm reading this. Okay, well thank you for stopping by, Tommy. Have a good night. <laughs> um, so this one, it's Hollywood Leg Legends and it says the inside story of Mickey Mouse 90 years of the world's most beloved character and I think the magazine yeah it's from Hall, no glasses well, Hollywood legends because then over here in the corner says Cent Centennial Entertainment but he thought this was pretty cool that has an inside story of Mickey Mouse and again I haven't yet looked at this either he my boyfriend just picked this up today at Target as well and I just decided that I would share this with you guys Oh, did you just get this too at the lucky minute? Oh, well, yeah, you know what? I think so, Vanessa, because my boyfriend also has the the Disney Visa as well. And I think we did get like a coupon in the mail of like something percentage off. We actually haven't even opened yet and looked, but I kind of peeked inside and it looks like it was some type of coupon. And then here it is the back of it wait sorry I got this I know right it's oh it's a fun race this is a man's time I'm so glad I have the chat over here yeah I can't wait to look inside of this because I haven't done that yet oh you got your coupon today oh wow that's awesome at the lucky minute. I did not know that. Yeah, so I can't wait to, you know, look inside. Um, yes, I think I'll open first. Because I don't think we'll go through the, you know, the whole magazine. But look at the front right here. What's it say? The inside story of Mickey Mouse and looking at the outfit he's wearing. Oh, wow. I haven't even listened to that. The Japanese speaking Mickey is the same vocal register as Spanish speaking Mickey and now right and now, oh boy I'm trying to I don't even sound nothing like Mickey right and then I guess I'll just show real quick this last this page that I happened to turn into says Mickey merchandise and you know what hold on you guys sorry I'm trying to figure out how to like hold this and show it to you guys as well and I should probably scoot it up closer that's pretty cool <laughs> I know, right? Oh boy, bring money, please. <laughs> okay, Juan. Have fun in yoga. See you later. 
Thanks for being here. Yeah, the vintage page. Yeah, I like seeing vintage stuff too, Kim. I was actually just watching um, Saving Mr. Banks yesterday, and I left off on the scene when um, she arrives in the hotel and, you know, seeing all the cool, awesome Disney plushes. I was like, man, I wish I could have all those plushes. And then since we're briefly talking about the Disney store, then before I move on to a few more items that were also, again, from the Target store, because my boyfriend is... Um, he has a Disney Visa, what do you call it, Chase card. We get like, I'm actually going to share this one because I thought the stuff was cool in here. But when my boyfriend gets, what do you call it, the movie of the month, I want to say. And then they'll have like, you know, little offers in there. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> little offers in there like if you want to get this at this price or something. And I seen this awesome... Disney Rewards Pin. Now this pin was only for um, Disney Visa card holders, but because it has the Steamboat Willie and the castle, I showed my boyfriend, I said, look at this, how awesome is this pin? Like kind of hinting, you know, I want this pin. And it came in, I think it came in Friday or Saturday. I think we got this, I forget. But this was for the, um, and you know what I'm saying? I hope I say it right. Hi, Arvine to Disney. How are you? So this was a Disney pin, only exclusive, exclusive for the Disney um, Visa card holders. And oh, you got one too, Sharon. That's awesome. Oh, she got it too, Get All TV. Hi, Explosive Phoenix. How are you? Yeah, we got it a little bit later because I wasn't even sure if we were going to get it because I told my boyfriend, like, hint, hint, I want this pin. Oh, you're waiting on yours, Sharon? And I'm depending because I don't know how much longer my hand can hold that. <laughs> and then this was in there when we got the, the pin, but I just thought it would be awesome to share some cool stuff right here. So it just says Toy Story, travel to the road to Toy Story for this April and then it's basically you know for the Disney store and the shop Disney but the stuff inside is what I thought oh I don't have longer well if you still want to see it I can show it again in a minute though oh thank you Sharon oh you got the Timothy plush oh so in here it shows there's a Toy Story spirit with a specially iconic top available April 15th then there's some, I'm probably going to call these toys wrong, shufflers. And those will be available April 27th. And then there's a limited pin edition set on April 27th as well. And then there's also some plushies, the big, tiny big feet ones available on April 27th as well. Along with the Disney Wisdom one, Be Inspired April 20th, which it looks like it's going to be Piglet. And maybe I'll start, let's see. I'm sorry guys, I'm probably going to end up blocking it in my face, but I just wanted to share this stuff with you guys because I thought, you know, that looks pretty cool. And then the pin set right there, the limited edition. And then there's the tiny Bigfoot plushes. And then those shuff shuffles, I think they're called. And then here's the Disney Wisdom on April, is it 20th? Piglet. Oh, you're thinking of getting the spirit jersey, Vanessa? And then in the back, well, almost in the back, I didn't even know the Disney store um, did this. The Magical Egg Hunt Adventure, you purchased your map for, uh, I believe, $5 at the Disney store. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know they did that. That's awesome. Oh, it came in there. Oh, it's usually... I'm just showing, you know, this little awesome, like, um... What do they call it? A little pamphlet that came in when we ordered the pin. I just thought it was pretty cool, you know, the stuff that it had in here. I just thought I would just share that with you guys. And then I'll share one more time. Here's the pin. Hey, Midlife Vibes. How are you? 
I'm just sharing this pin that I got from my boyfriend being the, what do you call it, the Disney Visa Rewards card holder. And Mickey's saying hi to you guys. He's waving to everyone. I'm going to hold on, put it back in the... Hey, beloved one, how are you? And I'm sorry, guys, I gotta kind of fix myself. <laughs> and then the last items before, actually, well, you know what? I have a few of these Disney theme cards and then three more items. The last three items with the princesses I got at the dollar store. Hi, Jason, how are you? Um, but let's see, we'll start with. My boyfriend also found, again, a lot of stuff at Target. Um, and hold on, if you guys, I don't know if you'll hear this like squeaky sound noise thing. It is our dwarf hamster that decided to go on his wheel right now at the moment. But maybe because he's kind of far away, maybe you guys don't hear it. I'm not sure. Hi, Chills TV. How are you? Hi, Disney World Adventures. How are you? And no worries. Um, so there are Disney Hot Wheels. And their character cards, and the first one is the Disney Belle character car. And let me see if you guys, because I know I see kind of like a glare from the lighting. Or let me try this. Maybe this way. I'm sorry, guys. I'm also trying to read. Oh, there's an. And then the back, it shows all the other ones. Let me see. That you can get. And I'm sorry guys if I'm moving this a little bit while I'm holding it. I'm trying my best to keep it steady. As you can see, I don't know, my hands aren't letting me. <laughs> but then I'll show again. Um, Jules TV, my boyfriend found these at our Target. He actually bought, let's see, he bought six of them total. He said these were the six that were left at the store. Oh, you like the Maleficent one? Yeah, that one's awesome. Yeah, a Belle Hot Wheel. <laughs> and then I'll show the back one more time. So you can see who we got there, Mickey, Maleficent, Minnie Mouse, Pinocchio, Stitch, Peter Pan, Jack Skellington, Elsa, Winnie the Pooh, Mike Wazowski, Val, and Sully. And then the next one we have, oh, Walmart has them too. Oh, okay, Disney World Adventures. Hey, Zippity Doo, Dad, how are you? And then here's Minnie Mouse. I want the Sully. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of, at least my angle, holding it sideways because I know I get a glare that comes in from the light. And then the back is just the same. It just shows, again, the ones. Hi, Brittany's new page. How are you? No, no worries. Oh, trying to get that glare out of the way. And then he also found Pinocchio. Well, I think I'm going to stand up again. <laughs> Okay, kiddo TV. <clears throat> and then again, just in the back. Okay, well, thank you for stopping by, Chills TV. 
Have a good evening. Hey, Dromar family, how are you? Oh, the hat, yeah, on the car. <laughs> I just kind of have it turn this way because I know I get a glare. Oh, thank you, Kim. I try because <laughs> I have noticed sometimes, you know, I don't have like the right lighting for it. And that's why I'm like, if I turn it the other way, it's going to get the glare on there. But thank you. And then let's see, three more left of the Hot Wheels. And then next up, we got Stitch. You know, let's see, a little bit of a glare right there, too. Oh, but you know what? Let me see. But I want you guys to see it kind of the front, but I know the glaring's kind of not all that good. Because see how he has his face in the front of the car there. See it a little bit one more time. The front of it. Oh, thank you, human person. And again, it just has again the repeats. Well, you know, I guess since this is the one we're looking at, this helps, I guess, see it a little bit better. What the one we're currently looking at was which is stitch. Then we have Sully. I do know that hearing about sangria, I have actually have never had that. Believe it or not, Vanessa, the sangria and Brittany, I have never um, tried that. Oh, thank you, Dromar family. Let's see if we can show a little bit without the glare of the front. Kind of, there we go. And then again, just the back has, and this is the one we're currently looking at. Yeah, monsters back at work. And then the last one of the Hot Wheels we have is Peter Pan. And let me see how the front looks. And you know what? Hi, Steve's World. How are you? And you know what? You guys on the I'll be right back. I gotta go. I heard some sound. I'll be right back. I guess in the meantime, I'll leave you guys with looking at Stitch. Be right back shortly. Sometimes I don't know when you hear a sound, I either got to go check and hear what that was. <laughs> I can back to, I believe I was sharing Peter Pan. Yes, I know, right, Vanessa? I mean, they are a little bit, I guess, older, you know, teenager and a preteen. But sometimes when you hear something, it's like, I got to go check what is going on. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Dormar family. Um, Jack, well, I know because I actually had saved the receipt. My boyfriend paid um three ninety nine for these. You know, I remember because the receipt still happened to be in the bag. But three ninety nine. Okay, and then the last three items. How many cards do I have in the collection? Well, out of the 
Disney Hot Wheels character cards. There's six total here. And then I had bought, the only thing is at the moment, I misplaced it. But I had a, oh, what was it? I think it was a Pinocchio. It was a Hot Wheel as well, but a Pinocchio, like in a van. So total though, overall, because that's like a different style though, I have seven of them. Okay, so they're the same price over there too. Oh no, that's awesome. Your husband got some too. So before I give a try at building the Lego set, because as some of you um, know that, you know, last week I had some like hand wrist pain that I was having, but it's um, gotten a bit better. And that's why I'm going to try to see how much I can build of the frozen Lego set that I had gotten from Juan, who was in the chat earlier. Um, these three items, though, I found at the dollar store. It's actually doing a little bit better, Kim, and it's actually doing okay. Yeah, thank you for asking. And I'll thank you, Disney Ann. Now these, there was still a few of them left at the dollar store of these ones, but it's Paint Your Own Sun Catchers, and it has Ariel and Belle. I am curious to when I paint these, because, you know, when I pick this up, I know, actually, I'll get to that in a minute, Jack, your question you're asking. Um, but I was laughing because when I turned over the back, I told my aunt, because she was with me, I said, is my sun catcher really going to look like the picture? <laughs> I mean, it does have the co colors that go with it, but I'm curious if it's going to look the same. That is Ariel and Belle sun catchers that you paint yourself. And then one more time, the back, how they show that, how they're supposed to look, right? <laughs> I know, right? It never does. Like, they're showing, oh yeah, it's going to look like this, and then, you know, you finish it, and it looks nothing like what they showed. <laughs> Hi, Lori, how are you? And then I found also this Disney princess. This is of Cinderella. It looks like it comes with a small little comb and a mirror. But I thought this was cute. This one though, um, the paint your own sun was it catchers for me. But this one actually, and the good thing, I mean, she doesn't watch. But this one I'm going to give to um, my niece for Easter. But I thought this was pretty cute. See, this is what it looks like what's in there. That's pretty neat. Oh, thank you, Dromar family. And then this as well, because I mean, when, I don't know. I was tempted to opening the bubbles for even me, but I'm gonna give this to my niece as well. The only one I'm keeping for myself is the Paint Your Own Sun Catcher. But this is Disney Princess Bubbles and it has Cinderella, Ariel, and Belle on the front. Okay, there's Ariel. Wait, let me start this way, huh? There's Cinderella. Cinderella, Ariel, and Belle. And these three items, see, I don't know if I can hold them all at the same time, <laughs> I found at my dollar store is where I found these. And then, Jack, um, to answer your question, how you mentioned that um, Steamboat Willie Lego set, my boyfriend actually, you know what, you guys, I apologize if I move the tables. I'm trying to kind of move some, clear some space off the table. Um, but my boyfriend ordered that for me, Jack, the Steamboat, was it Willie Lego set? And then I was thinking in the meantime too, you know, if you guys cause have, because I think I am going to try to build a little bit of this Lego set that I have gotten from Juan. So sorry about the noise I'm going to probably be making. 
you know what the only thing is I'm not sure if I can move you guys down so you can see me building this I didn't figure that one out I think what I'll do just a little bit and I start building I will show you guys and then maybe next time I'll see if I can figure it out to where I can lower what I'm where I'm streaming from for you guys to actually see but I was thinking, you know, in the meantime, while I build this, if you guys want to ask, you know, any questions, but here's one of the bags, and then here's another bag. Oh, no, you got a piece stuck on one of them? Oh, yeah, thank you, Kimmy. I'm going to try. Okay, you know what question is? Uh-oh, you know what? I think, hold on, I think I left instructions over here. I think. Yep, they're over here. I'm like, I can't build this on my home without instructions. Oh, sorry, you guys, about kicking that table. Um, This is what I need to throw, so I'm not going to get anywhere building Legos, right? But yeah, human person, I'm going to try a little bit of building this and just, you know, Again, like I said, a little bit, because, um, like I said, I know I don't have the wristband anymore, but I do got to still try to, you know, take it easy with my hand. But like I said, in the meantime, too, if you guys have any questions, you know, ask away. That way it's not, you know, like, too quiet. Or maybe, you know, I could just try just building the characters, because see here... In the first page, it's showing me how to build Elsa. I just gotta find. I don't know if all her parts are in this same bag. Well, you know, I might be careful if I'm gonna spill all the pieces everywhere, right? <laughs> Brick 25, how are you? Okay, are we into Disney? Well, thank you for stopping by. Have a good night. And I'll thank you. Hi, Marianne, how are you? And all, no worries. I'm trying to assume real quick. I don't know. Let's see. For Marianne that just joined, though, I will show you. Um, real quick, Marianne, um, the, where is, oh, the three items that I found at the dollar store. Wait, hold on, here's camera. I don't know if I'm I'm picking that right. And hold on, I don't even know which I keep trying to look at the chat we hear and then over here on my phone. <laughs> Uh, but Marianne, I was just finishing sharing these items that I have found at the dollar store. This is a paint your own sun catchers, and it has Ariel and Belle. And then there's the back of it. And then this cute Cinderella little mirror with comb as well. And then there's the back of it. But I found these items at the dollar store. And then the Disney Princess Bubbles as well. And it has Cinderella, Ariel, and Belle on it. And they're Disney Princess Bubbles. The bubbles in the little comb set, I'm going to give to my niece. And then now, Marianne, I'm just... Yeah, right when I said the dollar store is the best all kinds of cute Disney themed stuff and then Marianne I'm going to try to build some of the Disney Frozen Lego set oh thank you Marianne and if I'm looking down you guys I am trying to find all of Elsa's pieces because I'm a little confused and not sure I don't think they're all in this little bag 
And the reason why I don't think they are, because I don't see the rest of her outfit here. Yeah, Marianne, the, the one that I got from Juan. And sorry again, you guys, I apologize for the noise. Oh my gosh, yes, those are cute. The Mickey's 90th stickers. And all, you're welcome, Kim. You know, I actually bought some for myself, but I'm trying to think. I don't know where I put them at the moment. Oh, thank you, Dromar family. Oh, you got those too, Vanessa? I'm like, here's your figure out. I don't know what is in this little box. This is, I'm thinking I should have got my scissors. But let's see, I think I got it open. What is this? Oh, oh, no. oh, so that's very cool. So it came in this little box, but it looks like, I know it don't look like it at the moment, but it's Elsa's cape. I don't know which way, sorry, guys, I'm trying to figure out how to show it to you guys. But how pretty is that? And then I guess so it wouldn't get um, wrinkled, they put it in the little box over here. But I'm still trying to get to the bottom and find out where is the rest of Elsa's outfit. Or better yet, should I say the rest of her body? Because it comes in pieces. Oh, I found it. Okay, we're getting somewhere, you guys. We're finding it. I think I even found Olaf. Okay, the lucky minute. Thank you for being here. Have a good evening. So, let's see. There's that, that. Oh, and then I gotta find. Oh, you know what? There's Elsa's hair. <laughs> Here's her hair. I think I'm finding all the pieces. Oh, you know what, though? I think I gotta put this on before I can do that, though. Yeah, you guys, like I said, in the meantime, any, you know, questions you guys wanna ask? You know, feel free. So it's not like just, you know, so quiet. Okay, wait. In the meantime, you guys, I got to look for this piece right here. So in order to finish this part, I need to find... Okay, I think I found one of the pieces. I don't know where's the other piece, though. I think it's this one. This is the only thing with like Lego pieces. You got to be careful and look that you got the right piece. And you know what? I'm not sure if I do have the right piece. But right now, capes, darling. Um, he said he'd um be back because he was gonna um get dinner. Marianne. Cause I do know, you know, around the time that I go live too, it probably is like about, you know dinner time for some of us um, but it looks like I got part of Elsa I don't like how her cape is moving but there's Elsa and then here she is with oh, her cape I don't like how it keeps moving and her cape oh, okay wait <laughs> But there she is. See, there he is. Yeah, Marianne was asking about you, Fernie. Or, you know, maybe what I'll do instead, you guys, I might just, let's see. And then maybe just skip to put Olaf together. Um, Jack, this is the Disney Frozen Lego set. Let me see. That I got from Juan, who was in the chat earlier. And then this shows a little bit better. Yeah, it's fun collecting um, the Legos. <coughs> no, sorry, excuse me, you guys. Listen, I'm currently looking for Olaf. 
And you know he's on the next page already. I might just do that, you guys. Maybe just build the characters right now. If I can find all the pieces that I need. Let's see, I found that. I think this is his piece too. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just looking for the pieces that I need to find. <laughs> And then I need that square. Okay, found that. Oh, I think I found them all. Except for until I get over here. I don't know, you know where this part is. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, I'm just carefully looking at the parts. It looks like I gotta open the other bag um, there is, let me see, I gotta turn it around. Oh, no worries, beloved one. 125 pieces. I'm sorry, guys, I'm just trying to open the bag. The other piece that I need for Olaf is in this other bag. Oh, wow, yeah, I don't even, I get to build that one, too. The the one that Jack is talking about, the Steamboat Willie one, because... My boyfriend got that one for me as well. But that is a lot of pieces. And let's see, okay. Oh, okay, now I gotta find, oh, and there it is. I, was like, I gotta find Olaf's nose and I found it. Okay, now I'm just gonna put Olaf together. And I'm trying to find which is which piece. I think this is this one. And then, and sorry guys, I'm also, mind me, also kind of talking, well, I'm kind of talking more with you guys too, but figuring out the pieces, and I got to make sure I'm putting this the right way. Hopefully it goes this way. Oh, you saw it, Marianne, at the uh, Lego store in downtown Disney? Yeah, my boyfriend ordered that one for me, the Steamboat Bo Willie one. Okay, let's see what I think. His hands go in here. I will say I have had my share of building Legos, and yes, Cam, that takes patience to do Legos. Uh -huh. I just thought because my boys have asked for so many Legos before that I've had my share of building Legos. We actually currently have a Pikachu one that we got to finish building for my son as well. I might maybe I was thinking of also streaming building that one maybe. I haven't yet decided just to kind of get a head start and continue you know building the Pikachu one for my son. Okay, let's see. And now I am not sure. I think I, was, I don't even know if I'm building this right. <laughs> oh, let's see. What did I do wrong? I think I put it upside down. I think that's all I did. Well, maybe. Or I have the wrong piece. Okay, now I'm not sure. Okay, wait. Oh, then I can see I put something on wrong. Oh, I can't take it off. That's how I got, I'm just trying to remove. Eh, I can't get it off. I, I have trouble when I put a piece on. Okay, I'm going to take this apart again. The good thing it's not a lot of... Um... Okay, beloved one. Thank you for being here. Have a good dinner and have a good evening. Oh, you got so good at Legos from babysitting? But the kids are always faster. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be with me too, that the kids would be faster than me as well in building the Legos. Yeah, they probably can do it more faster than me. Oh, I can't take this piece off, you guys.
that's the only thing. They need to make this easier for, well, at least for me, it's not easy. Oh, no worries, Becky. Um, you're good. Oh, my goodness. I can't take this piece off, you guys. <laughs> See, I did put it on wrong. Oh, there we go. Got it. Before I put that piece on, I should probably put this on first because I don't need that to happen again. Okay. I just said, um, put the wrong piece on the wrong spot. But I got it now. Okay. Then, ew, I'm trying to figure out wait, what? I think I got this wrong. And hold on, you guys, I gotta step away one more quick minute. Be right back. Try not to bump into the table this time. <laughs> and let's see, just check anything. I had to step away and check on something real quick. Does anybody do that? <laughs> Back to see, I think there was one more piece I missed. Oh, you know what? And there it is. I just found it that I need to finish putting all off together. Then how does this go on? See, and that's another thing. When I build Legos, and you know what? Okay, that's why it's not working. Another piece. I put on the wrong way, but let's see. I think it's going to come off easily. Yep, got it. And I think it goes, okay, this way. So then this, oh, there we go. Okay, we're making progress. Except, let's see. What is this piece, though? I think I grabbed an extra piece I didn't need. <laughs> So what is this going to be in the back of, oh, oh, I see, okay. So I was confused about a piece there for a minute. Oh, thank you, Kim. Almost done. Oh, but you know what? I think it needs, let's see, yep, the next page shows me. Okay, there's one more piece. I'm almost done. Building all off. I just got to find... One last piece that I don't see. Oh, you know what? This is why. Okay. So then that goes there. And wait. Yeah. Olaf is done. It looks like they gave him still kind of to look like his little, what do you call it? The fleury? Fl I can't even say it right, but his little snow cloud. Oh, bye, Disney Anne. Thank you for being here. Have a good um, evening and have a great week as well. But here is Olaf. You can see the pictures there of what it has. But there is Olaf. So I put together Olaf and Elsa. I don't know why her cape goes a little crooked, but I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to kind of hold this best or my fingers aren't covering it. <laughs> Does he fly? <laughs> we can make him fly. <laughs> You're so funny, Josh. But let's see, one more time, we'll...
Yep, there is Olaf. I don't know where he is, but there he is, Kim. Olaf. And then his little, like, supposed to be like, was it his, his little snow clouds that he gets? Yes, yeah, right. I know that's one of my favorite songs in summer. I mean, well, I won't sing it, but I almost know the whole song without even, um, actually hearing it but I guess that tells you you know how many times I have seen the Frozen movie if he threw him I know right Mariano Rip, there he goes <laughs> uh, that's funny there is that true oh that would be awesome human person the Olaf summertime statue. I was thought that would start would be so cool. <laughs> no, Marianne. <laughs> ah. Marianne over there trying to get me to sing. I don't even sing when Juan tries to get me to sing. But you know what? I will say I am prepared for, you know, when I get to go for the first time. For Halloween time, you know, I am already kind of mentally prepared that if Juan asks me to sing a song, or, you know, even Marianne, that I, you know, I will be a good sport and do it, because Juan has been a good sport, and, you know, he has sang the songs that I have asked. How about if I know? Yeah, see, there you go. A human person's going to help me sing. And you know, human person, I haven't done it yet, but actually I'm going to uh, be emailing you soon. Because um, I was about to discuss, um, like, details about the upcoming trip. Now, I won't, you know, say the date here, but I can briefly at least say, but I still will email you. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys, I'm going to distract by Josh's comment over there. He's so funny. Um... But yes, right, Vanessa, I can't wait. It's my first time. I've never been to the parks during um, Halloween time, so I'm very excited. Um, but the plan is to go to one of the Friday parties. And then the next day, which would be on a weekend, on a Saturday, um, the plan is to just hang out there around the downtown Disney district. Because um, my boyfriend, you know, said... You know, I'll get the party ticket for you to go. Um, but then, you know, that's it. That's the only day you'll have into the park. So I'm a little sad, though, because, you know, I mean, I'll still be happy to be there, but a little sad that I won't get to be at the park the next day. But I will be around to hang out, you know, around the downtown Disney district for anyone that, um, you know, will be around so we can hang out. And that's actually what I was going to be emailing you about human person with, like, um... What do you call it? The, the two dates that I have in mind. Um, but of course, you know, once the party dates are released, then I'll know for sure and have a exact date. Yeah, see there, go human person, because I was remembering that I know, you know, some of you are blocked out on the weekends. And that's why, you know, I wanted to reach out to you and let you know that I'm only going for, depending on when the dates are released, but you know, the Friday Halloween party and then the next day, just hanging around the downtown Disney district, which I know, you know, there's plenty to do. Like, even, like, bowling, for example, that actually sounds like a fun idea. Um, but, yeah. Or the Napa Rose. <laughs> I'm sure we'll, there'll be plenty of stuff to do around there. But, yeah, you guys, I think, you know, one, one, we're going to wrap up. And then, I think just for now... I'll show you guys again in a minute, but I'll just stick to building Olaf and Elsa because I am still kind of trying, you know, to take it easy because, like, for over a week I was having some left hand wrist pain, but I'm glad that it's, you know, doing much better. So I think that's why I won't build much more. Oh, okay. Oh, that should be open by then, too. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just putting the pieces back in the bigger bag so I don't 
lose them. But yeah, guys, any last minute things you guys want to ask before we end the stream? <laughs> Josh, you're too funny to watch Becky cook us breakfast. You're so funny, Josh. You're going to be in trouble with Becky. So Becky's going to be on the break that day, Josh, but she's going to be hanging out with me. And everyone else that we meet up with and hang out with. Or I know what we could do, Josh, instead. I remember that Becky was saying that she, want, she wants to do the... What's it called? I can't even think, you guys. The Goofy's Kitchen Breakfast. Hmm. That could be an idea, Josh. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Window shopping. And that's another thing that I'm going to have to, though, choose wisely. <laughs> We're going to go spend all your money, Josh, me and Becky, on ears. Park ears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so funny, Josh. And then tell us if anyone has any last minute questions. I know I has this type of shopping, the window shopping, Marianne. <laughs> oh, sorry, just laughing at Josh because he said, yeah, I know. Because I said, we're going to go buy all the park ears. We're going to get Becky all the park ears. She's going to own every single pair. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> You're funny. See, right? Yeah, see what Vanessa said. Shopping all day, right, Vanessa? All day long. From sunrise till sunset. <laughs> uh. Wait, you should see it. <laughs> uh. You should have seen my shopping spree in my last trip. But I will say, I did choose wisely because, you know... I pretty much want everything that's at the park. So when I went, I did choose Wiseland things I wanted. But I will say if it was an item that I knew that maybe would sell out, um, I definitely, um, what do you call it? I can't even think. I would decide and see. Oh, and you know what, Vanessa? Know there's so many um, God, awesome ears that I want. Um, but I will say... I don't have those, but you know what? I might be getting those soon because um, my boyfriend's co-worker went to the parks and he asked if I wanted anything. And I told him I really want that um, the purple potion ears because purple is my favorite color too. So those will probably be my newest pair I will be getting. I will say though, I do have a um, favorite pair of ears that were made and given to me by beloved one and actually you know what i don't know where those are at let me go grab those to show you vanessa those are my favorite at least handmade ears let me go grab them just right over here and you know i don't have that very many park ears um gosh i can't even you know i'm gonna say they're you know what, i might share that maybe another time but I have um, the, oh, I don't even remember, the Halloween ones that are like orange. And I can't even think right now what they look like at the moment because they're put away. But I will show you also the latest ones that a friend of mine, she went to the park. I'm not even sure, like maybe a couple months ago. But first, these ones right here, the 11 one made them for me with in mind of being Elsa um, inspired ears. If these were made, they given to me from Beloved One and you know I'm trying to figure out how to show these without covering my face. Or better yet, let's just see what the heck of the, I'll put them on. Because I don't have enough reason to wear them often, right? But there they are. They were Elsa inspired.
Maybe we talk about that. We have cafecito. That sounds so good. I know the weather's crazy over here for us. It's like kind of cold and rainy outside. Oh, thank you, Kim. But these were Elsa inspired ears given from um, Beloved One. And then because they're actually in the same box at the moment because I haven't put them yet with the rest of my ears. My friend got me. And you know what? I think I'm going to just go ahead and put these ears on too then because I don't have enough um, or an excuse to wear them very often. So I was so happy though to see that she got me these. And then next up I should be getting the purple potion ears. You know, I think I messed up my hair though, huh? Ooh, I know right now I'm hungry and everything, talking about cafecito and you know what? I will say though, I never had that abuelita hot cocoa, but ooh, with the concha even sounds good. Now you guys are making me hungry. I do have the cinnamon rolls from Costco <laughs> at the moment. I probably will go have another cinnamon roll. There's the magic carpet ears. And these were the latest ones that were given to me from a friend of mine. Oh, you like those too, Sharon? And you know, Becky, if you're still, um, I think you're still in here, right? Or even if not, Josh can pat, I can't even talk now. Josh can pass the message along. Look at what I still have your ears in. I still have the purple box because I think the reason why I still have this saved. Oh, there she is. Because, you know, I love purple. Oh, and then real quick, too, because I think, <laughs> of course, you know, I got distracted over here like Dory over here. Marianne, I'm not sure if I had shown you this or not. <laughs> I know you're just kidding, though, but she actually, you know what, there she is in the chat. Marianne, I don't know if I showed this to you or not. The um, My boyfriend got me the Steamboat Willie pin that has the castle in the background um, for being a, um, what do you call it, Disney Visa card holder? Oh, you ordered the American ears off Shopee Sing for $15. Those are cute, too. Yeah, right. That's a good price. Yeah, you guys, and I think we are going to now start saying goodbye then. So, like I said, while we say goodbye, any questions or anything in the meantime I thought we'll just start you know saying bye and I hope everyone has a good rest of your evening and everyone has a good night so I think in the meantime I'm just gonna wait for you know for you guys to start saying bye that way I don't miss any of your guys's comments you know what, I I actually don't have that very many pins I only have I have a few I will say that, but I don't have, I'm trying to even think how many I have at the moment. Oh, but you know what? You just reminded me, Marianne, there is one that I haven't gotten to share yet that I, where did we get that from? The Disney Movie Club as well, I haven't shared. So you know what? I will maybe, actually, you know what, Marianne, though? I will, that's a great idea. Maybe the following Monday, because this Monday coming up, I was actually thinking of sharing, um, I have some like Disney Easter items that I have and I figured it'd be perfect with being that, you know, the day after Easter. But after that, that is a great idea to share the pins. I like that idea. I think I will do that. But now let's see, I want, I'm just going back home. Sorry, you guys. But yeah, no, I will make a note of that. Then the following uh, Monday, Marianne, to share my pins that I have. And I will say, like I said, it's a small little collection, but it's getting there. It's growing. <laughs> But, oh, bye, Kim. Thank you for being here. Bye, Vanessa. Thank you for being here. And, oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Your sweet comment. 
and bye midlife vibes and oh you're so awesome too and sweet for saying the sweet comment bye becky beloved one thank you for being here bye marianne thank you for being here and oh marianne you guys are um too kind and sweet and oh, hi texas takes i'm sorry if i missed you earlier coming by in the chat but thank you for being here and have a good night bye jack santa claus logan thank you for being here bye sharon thank you for being here bye jason thank you for being here bye human person thank you for being here and all oh, you're welcome marianne you know thank you guys too i appreciate you know each and every one of you that you know comes and joins the chat and i also appreciate you know everyone also that you know later um watches the replay but i do appreciate you know each and every one of you and i enjoy and have fun you know sharing um my disney collection with you guys or any you know new disney stuff that i happen to buy and bye kid all you're so funny look it'll show me too that's why i said i'm waiting for everyone to say goodbye to make sure so i try my best not to miss anybody but bye kid all tv thank you for being here And, you know, also thank you to all of my mods. I appreciate you guys all for your help. And let's see. I think that's everyone. Oh, those are cute little emojis, Jack. The little was it? Easter egg type thing. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, just waiting to make sure I got everyone. But okay, you guys then. Well, you guys have a good evening and have a good rest of your week. <laughs> Say a goodbye song. Oh, you're so funny, Marianne. Marianne's just trying to get me to sing. I don't know what's a goodbye song. <laughs> oh, you're too funny, Marianne. Yeah, I don't know, Marianne. <laughs> oh, sorry, Marianne, making me laugh over here. The goodbye song. Bye, you guys. Have a good night and a good rest of your week. Bye.